All hail the Clicks crew. All right, guys, today we're unboxing an entire sealed brick of the brand new Marvel Hero Clicks Fantastic Four Future Foundation set. Uh, special thanks to channel sponsor trollandtoad.com for sending me this brick to unbox for you guys. Uh, so uh, those of you in the Patreon Clicks crew, you know what that means. Everything that gets pulled in this uh, gets given away over at Patreon. Uh, so check out patreon.com slash MrClicksFlicks if you want to help the channel out and possibly get some of this stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, make sure to visit trollandtoad.com and use the promo code MrClicksFlicks for 5% off your Heroclix order today. Uh, they do have singles for this setup now. Uh, they ran into a little bit of issues uh, at first because of all the uh, wintry weather that we've been getting in the uh the mid south and stuff like that so uh they had to to wait for uh or midwest i'm sorry uh so that they could get their stuff in so that's uh none of them problem so anyway uh what we're gonna do is i'm gonna get the cellophane off this so you don't gotta hear that uh, all that crinkling and uh then like all my unboxings i'm gonna start at the front far left then go back far left and work my way left to right for that so we can we can see what we're gonna get. Uh, hopefully we get three super rares, a chase and a prime. Although I've seen a bunch of bricks where it's you get a chase or a prime. Uh, it seems like I was lucky, and we will be unboxing the legacy card that came with this brick uh, at the end of this unboxing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the cellophane off, and we're gonna come. All right. right. Back. So here we are. We are back for this unboxing. We got the first booster out here. Uh, this is front far left. Uh, hopefully again, we're getting the three super rares, one chase and one prime, um, if, for the super rares, hoping for silver savage, Uatu, uh, maybe, um, the, uh, high evolutionary for the other super rare. Those would be cool for you guys. Uh, and then, uh, as far as chases go, it seems like that, uh, time, uh, time platform doom is, is the one that everybody wants. So hopefully we get that. Uh, so that you guys can uh, get that. But uh, here we are, front far left, uh, front row. And we're going to go ahead and see what we got. Mr. Fantastic. And I just love this set. I've been having a lot of fun with this. How about you guys? I'll put that in the comments below. Uh, Medusa. Invisible Woman Uncommon. Valeria Common. And Super Rare... Um, what's her name? Griever. Okay, so this was from the, I believe, the new run of Fantastic Four. So really cool there. I haven't, uh, I don't have one of her. That's really cool looking. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get her on the pedestal and see exactly what she does. Griever is number 056 in the set. She has the Cosmic Herald and Monster keywords. She has one trait and a special on her defense. Her trait is... All that you have made, I will unmake. Terrain markers and objects can't be generated into squares within six squares of Griever. That's pretty good considering uh, how much of that there is in uh, modern play right now. And then uh, her special on her defense is nothing in existence is ever done with me. Stop invulnerability regeneration. Uh, so those are good. Stop clicks are always good. She has the uh, cosmic energy team ability. She has two different point lines, 100 points and 50 points, eight range dual target, so pretty lengthy range. At uh, 100 points, she has a 10 movement with running shot and flight ability, 11 attack, psychic blast, 18 defense, invincibility, and four damage without wit. And then at 50 points, she has a nine movement with running shot, 11 attack, psychic blast, 18 defense, impervious, three damage out wit. You guys know what I'm going to say. I like that uh, 50, that 50 point line is real strong. Uh, I don't, I'd rather run two of these than uh, one at a 100 points, but uh, still really cool dial. Super cool to see a new character and monsters just got a nice low point secondary attacker and outwitter uh, more importantly in their uh, forces. All right, so that's one super rare down, hopefully two more to go, one chase and one prime. We'll see. Again, there's a there's a probability of just getting uh, one chase or, or a prime. Um, it seems like my brick, uh, my case was uh, kind of an outlayer. If you want to see uh, my case, check out the uh, YouTube card now. Or you can check it out after this video. It'll, I'll probably put it in an end card or something. All right, so we've got Pybok. Really cool. Haven't seen him in a good long while. So uh, him being in the set's cool. Bentley 23, really cool character. Invisible Woman, that's the scroll version. 
Then we've got Vil and Terax. Really cool there. So uh, again, we're getting a ton of just, uh, if you haven't checked out this set, you're going to want to check it out because we're getting a ton, ton of characters that just have never been clicked before. Uh, so that's that's probably the most exciting thing about this set is just pure number of new characters. Booster number three, second from the left, front row. We got uh, Thing Robot. You guys let me know in the comments below. Is this a generic or is this a, is this a, um, like a name character? It says none for name. Uh, normally it says various if it's like a minion type character. Uh, Kate Power or Katie Power. Oh, we've got something there. That's normally a good sign. I can get her out of the way. Uh, Rama Tut. Very cool. And this one, we've got a Doom. There you go. And this guy is really cool. Uh, this is Invisible Boy is the super rare for this booster. Really cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get him on the pe pedestal to see what he does. Uh, this is a good figure, though. I, I have this one myself. So really cool to see him again. Invisible Boy is number 053 in the set. He has the Fantastic Four, Celebrity, Cosmic, and Herald keywords. He has improved targeting, ignores hindering terrain, and he has two traits. His first trait is look past your cloaking devices. Opposing characters within six squares can't use stealth. That's really strong. That's a anytime you can take away stealth from opposing characters, it's, it's, a, it's a strong ability. His other trait is do not make me go all cosmic on you, man. Energy shield deflection, super senses. When invincible, uh, when invisible boy uses super senses and succeeds, after resolutions deal the attacker one penetrating damage. That is a really strong ability there. Uh, so he has permanent uh, energy shield deflection and super senses, and then if you succeed on the super senses, then your opponent takes one penetrating damage. That's strong. Uh, he's 100 points. Has the Fantastic Four and cosmic uh energy team abilities cosmic energy is uh the new power cosmic i guess that's what they're going to be using for that uh he has a six range single target 10 movement with running shot and flight ability 11 attack 18 defense with invincibility and three damage uh, this is a really good figure up if you just look at his dial it doesn't seem like he has a lot going on and then you're like oh well he also has energy shield deflection to get up to a 20 and he has super senses on top of uh, all those reducers and stuff like that and then he's got running shot and he's a stealth buster i mean this guy's just good i'm i'm really happy we got him i'm gonna be excited to try him as a main attacker on some uh, fantastic four teams so uh, pretty excited that, that we got this guy here all right, so doing pretty good so far. Uh, this is booster number four, second from the left back row. Uh, still looking for one more super rare, uh, hopefully a prime and a chase, or at least one of those things. Uh, I haven't seen distribution be too hard on anybody, so I'd say we're probably going to get one of those. Another Griever, super rare, okay. Uh, Valeria, Invisible Woman, Medusa, and Mr. Fantastic. All right, that's the first time I've seen in it within a brick. Now I've seen this within a case, but within a brick, a double super rare. I haven't seen that too often. So uh, since we already saw her in this video, uh, no point in really getting her uh, on the pedestal. But it does look like the sculpt came out nice. So uh, really cool there. All right. If it was for me personally, that'd be a good pull because then I give me uh, something to trade for other stuff um all right so this is booster number five center front row see what we get here hopefully it's a good sign maybe we'll get like two chases or something stupid uh let's see here we've got uh molecule man that's a that's a cool sculpt by the way uh we've got julie powers miss thing prime mad thinker and Medusa. So our prime for this brick is the Mad Thinker. Really cool. I think he's probably the best prime in the set. So we're going to go ahead and get him on the pedestal and see exactly what he does. Mad Thinker is number 013B in the set. He has the AIM, Illuminati, Intelica, Magia, Robot, and Scientist keywords. He has two traits. First one is the Simulacrum Body. Uh... 
which is when a Mad Thinker would be KO'd, you may instead replace him with a 13A Mad Thinker on its red starting line, and that character may be placed in a square within six squares of the square this character occupied protected pulse wave so that's really cool there a nice way to extend some life on him and then his other trait is probability obsession probability control but only to target characters with the robot keyword regardless of range or line of fire definitely really cool there robots continuing to build on uh, how good they are minions of doom team ability six range single target 40 points and for those 40 points, you get a 6 movement with sidestep, 10 attack, nothing on it, 17 defense, nothing on it, 2 damage with perplex. For 40 points, this guy's not bad. Uh, you get to extend his life with uh, the other mad thinker, and then he's got that probability control, uh, but only target characters with robot keyword, regardless of range or line of fire. So he has full board um, probability control if they have the robot keyword so super awesome there i can definitely see why a lot of people are after this guy uh, that is a really strong ability all right so uh we pulled three super rares and a prime we got five boosters left to see um how this works out so uh, this is booster number six dead center back row uh anything that happens in these boosters is just a surprise or gravy or however you want to look at it We got uh, Adolf Impossible, Jim Hammond, uh, that's the original Human Torch, Bentley 23, Spider-Man, and the Common Mad Thinker, non-prime version. Very cool there. Next up, booster number seven. Second from the right back row. Let's see what we get here. Still hope I, I'm still holding out and hope we're getting a chase with this. All right, we got something. Uh, we got Ant Man, Scrawl Thing, Pybok, Diablo, uh, that's the uh, standard rare, and Vil. So, really cool there. Uh, he comes with an object, he's one of the only. Yeah, he's the only thing below a super rare that comes with an object. Uh, so he has the Alchemil Potion. Really cool there. So that's definitely a cool one for somebody there. All right. Now we've got oh, in the bottom of somebody's dial. We'll have to put that uh, in here. Who's? Oh, it's missing from scroll thing. Crisis averted. We know who it goes to. All right. Booster number uh, eight. This is second from the right back row. For those of us trying to map. I don't know. Do you guys feel like mapping a brick is still a thing? I feel like before with the different booster arts, it might have been. But uh, I'm not so sure now. I, I feel like there's a pretty decent mix-up nowadays. All right. <clears throat> so we've got Thing. Uh, that's the scroll version. We've got a surfboard. So we got Jack Powers. We got Franklin. Julie Powers and a Silver Savage. So uh, we got at least one of the super rares we wanted, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is the first time I've seen four super rares in a brick, though. So I don't know if that means we're not going to get a chase. If we do get a chase, though, that'd be crazy. Uh, but this is a really good figure. One of my favorite ones in the set. Uh, so let's go ahead and get him on the pedestal and see exactly what he does. Silver Savage is number 054 in the set. He has the Cosmic Herald and Warrior keywords. He has a special on his attack and a special on his defense. Special on his attack is Power Cosmic Returns, Steel Energy, but with close or range attacks. That's always good whenever they give out that, uh, you know, you can use it for range too. Special on his defense, I will free all of you. Stop Invincible. When this click is first revealed, Silver Surfer can't be healed above this click this game. And after resolutions, remove an action token from all friendly characters and equip Silver Savages, uh, equip Silver Savage with a number S004 Silver surfboard from outside the game so really cool there let's take a look at what the surfboard is uh, before we get into the dial uh, the surfboard says that it has uh, 10 points and its effect is 
flight, hypersonic speed. When an equipped character without the cosmic keyword uses hypersonic speed, after resolutions, roll a d6, one or two, give that character an action token. Uh, it's a heavy object, so that's uh, pretty cool there. Um, and it has uh, equip any, unequip drop. So pretty neat there. And uh, it, he probably gets it for free uh, when that ability activates. So you don't uh, have to pay the 10 points when it's on him. It's just for other characters. Uh, like I said, he is 100 points. And he has the Cosmic Energy team ability. So uh, no outwit or anything like that here. Has an 8 range dual target. 11 attack. I'm sorry, 11 movement with charge. 12 attack with Quake, 18 defense, invincibility, 4 damage with Battle Fury. Uh, all that for 100 points isn't bad, and then you figure on uh, click 6, where he has that stop click and he gains hypersonic speed and flight ability, he has hypersonic flight sidestep, uh, still a massive 12 attack. Uh, this guy's good for, for, for 100 points. This is somebody I'm really interested in trying out uh, a lot of, and I just, I love this sculpt. This is I don't want to throw out favorite sculpt in the set, but it might be. And I just, uh, I really like uh, like this character and everything like that. So super happy that we ended up with this one. All right. So we've had a crazy four super rare brick and one prime. Two boosters left uh, to hopefully get a chase maybe. I don't know. I feel like four super rares and a prime. That's pretty much it. But we'll see. Um, so this is booster number nine. You guys let me know before we open these last two boosters. Do you think we'll pull a chase? Will the Mr. Clicks magic hold up? Find out in the next two boosters. All right, we got Human Torch, and I keep saying it. This is, I love this sculpt. Um, all the Human Torch sculpts in this set I actually really like. Even though this one doesn't have flame on, uh, I still really like it. Uh, so we got Jim Ham and the OG Human Torch. We got Ant Man. We got. Uh, uh, what's his name? Alex Powers, and it looks like Stardust is a rare. Uh, so really cool here. Hopefully next time we get a set, we can get a Skywalker. Um, but other than that, I feel like we've gotten uh, most of the um, Heralds of Galactus in the last two sets, other than that one maybe. Uh, so really cool there. I know she's only a rare... Is she? I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, I know that that's only a rare, but still it's a really, really cool one. At least in my opinion, as a Fantastic Four Galactus Cosmic fan. All right, booster number 10. Uh, this is the last booster for this. Don't go away, though, because we will be uh, unboxing that, um, that uh, Legacy card. If you've been enjoying this video, though, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a share, so that people can find these videos, and, you know, maybe, you know, one or two people that haven't heard about Heroclix will hear about it. All right, and again, thank you to trollandtoad.com for sending these, and if you see something that you like, make sure to check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash mrclicksflicks. All right, this one's for all the marbles. We're going to see. We got uh, Lija. Artie, Spider-Man, Mr. Fantastic, and Human Torch Scrawl. So no chase in this brick. Uh, we got double super rare Griever. Uh, then we got, uh, what was the other super rare? Silver Savage, obviously. And uh, I don't remember the other one. Oh, well. Uh, so And we got Mad Thinker. All right, so we've got the legacy card here. Really hoping for Morgan Le Fay for you guys. Uh, I know that you guys, uh, that's a really sought after one there. Uh, seems like probably the most sought after one. Um, really hope WizKids continues this practice. I'm, there's going to be a, I'm going to be doing a whole video on legacy cards, so we'll, we'll see how it's going to work out. Invisible Woman Super Rare. So really cool there. At least we got one of the super rare ones. Um, I don't know if these are... Are these a flat rarity or is it reflected in this? Um, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I feel like they're pretty much equally uh, equal rarity across the board. It's just this is goes with an invisible... Uh, <laughs> with a super rare one. Uh, but again, these cards are really cool. Uh, a little bit hard to read on camera. A little bit more forgiving in person. But still, really cool. It does make you feel special. 
Uh, man, look at that old stat line. That's what you used to get for 110 points. But uh, they do give them uh, updated uh, traits and stuff to try to try to make it so that they're a little bit more modern viable. So I really hope WizKids uh, continues this practice. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos. Make sure that you have that bell icon rung and that you're subscribed so that you can see my other videos as they become available. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. As always, please remember that it's only critical miss if you don't have probability control.